Hi guys, good evening, good evening. I'm sorry. Estaba hablando conmigo misma. I tenía en mute this thing. <laughs> so good evening, guys. Good evening, Jorge. Good evening, Mr. Palma. How are you? Hi, Susana. Good evening. Uh, Olga, thank you for joining. How are you guys? How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. Hi. Thank you so much. Everything good? Is everything okay? Is your Thursday going fine? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, Susana. How are you? Good I'm evening. Fine. Thank you for joining. ¿Qué tal, miss? Everything okay? So thank you guys. Uh, thanks a lot for joining. Hi, good evening. Thank you for joining to station number uh, 17. I'm like trying to do numbers here. <laughs> okay, so thanks a lot. Oh no, it's 18, sorry. So, and um, hopefully the rest of the guys are going to be joining. Thank you guys. How you doing? Guys, quick question. Um, Están teniendo problemas con la unidad número tres. Are you having difficulties completing unit three? No. No, but with the number four, yes. Yeah, because, ah, okay. So maybe number four was the one. Okay. Um, ¿Hay algún ejercicio that is giving you some issues que podamos revisar at the end? O todo, like every, every part of number four. Uh, in my case, I have I had problem with the, the number four point one. Ah, the first. Okay, okay. So we can do that. We can double check uh, the exercises. Okay, but I was like not sure about you number three as well. Okay, okay. Glad to hear that. Sounds okay. Sounds really good. So it's unit number four. Hey girls, hey, what about you? Are you having difficulties with unit number four? No. Mm, share you tomorrow. <laughs> I say tomorrow. <laughs> ah, okay. You haven't you haven't checked it yet. Yes, I I I begin. No, I I beginning no. In no iniciado el cuatro. You haven't, you haven't begun, okay, you haven't begun, all right, no problem, that's okay, so hopefully um, you can get started, right, and let us know if you have any difficulties. Um, Alrighty, guys, so today to get it started, uh, we're going to continue talking about um, crisis, right, uh, some steps we can take to prevent uh, a big crisis. Uh, in the company and I have a lot of listening activities for uh, for us to work on listening. A quick question, pudieron ver el video? Were you able to watch the video um, I sent yesterday night? Yes, I, I see the video, I saw the video. Okay, you saw it. Was it difficult for you to understand the video? Uh, I, I don't put the Sometimes, so sometimes. Mm -hmm. but there are several words that I don't understand. Ah, okay, okay, that's all right. But in general, did you get like most uh, most the of idea, it? I uh, I consider I I get the main idea of the video. Okay. Okay, that is what matters, so that sounds good. So if you understood most of it, so I think that is just fine. Sounds really good. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to check um, some of these exercises in a couple of minutes, but uh, to get started, guys, I have this little, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have this little exercise, I got allergy. Um, and so guys, I got this little question here. Um, so I definitely would like to listen to your opinion. So it says, um, if you had to take, you know, um, I stand here, if you have to choose between staying at home 
and going out. Uh, what would you say, guys? It says staying at home is better than going out. Do you agree? No. Or do no, you disagree? No. What's your opinion? I'm like, oh, I'm like 50 50, but <laughs> I don't know. Guys, what, what would you say about this? Is it saying at home better than going out? If it's a yes, why? Hi, Diana. Good evening. Guadalupe, good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, Diana, espero que mejore. I hope you feel better. Um, Ah, yes. Elena says, in these days with COVID, it's better to stay at home. I mean, yeah, but, <laughs> okay, what would you think, guys? Hi, Tatiana, good evening. Uh, thank you for joining. Okay, so, um, is it better for you to stay at home? What would you choose, guys? Going out or staying at home? What is better for you? I chose going out. Going out. Yes, because it's it's boring to be in, in home. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, but every day, do you work outside your house? Uh, I know, but you still prefer to be out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you prefer to be out. Okay. Okay, guys, what do you think? Is it better to be out? Is it better to go out with friends or to stay at home? Olga, which is better for you? Olga, are you with us? Uh, Susana, are you with us? No, for me, it's uh, that going, going out. Going out too? It's, yes, it's better. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, okay, okay. So Jorge is to going out, Susana too. Olga uh, is staying at home or going out? Which one is better for you? I think both things are are necessary in, in, in some moments because stay at, at home is relaxed, is um, prevent COVID and going out is this stress mm -hmm. is um, dancing Okay, uh, you can go dancing, yes. Adrenalina. Depending uh, on the activities, right? For me. <laughs> you can get adrenaline yes. too? Okay. Yes, and for me, both things depend the situation. Okay, uh, but if you have to choose one, only one, so which one would you select? Hi Sylvia, good evening. When did you stay evening? at home? Today stay in your house. Okay, so you will yeah. go for the staying at home. Okay. Uh, Sylvia, which is better for you? Staying home or uh, going out with friends? Uh, in my case, uh, I prefer staying in my home. With why my friends uh, okay why um i i prefer the, the no i prefer the place more si silent or, okay. or pacific okay Okay, rather than parties, rather than being out. Mm -mm. Okay, so you're not into that kind of uh, places. Okay, okay. So home. Teacher. Hi, hey, Mr. Good Palma, evening. how you doing? Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. Uh, 
in this situation, uh, I prefer stay at home. Uh, there is a, a, there are many, many things to do in my house and uh, I really, I, I, I never, I never uh, like uh, to, to visit the discotheque and and since I was uh, a younger, uh, but I, I, I prefer, uh, for example, uh, today uh, or uh, I don't know, I have a family. I have a, a, a daughter, I have a, my wife. I prefer yeah. stay stay with with them and enjoy like like the picture the, the first picture ah okay uh, yes. even, even on the weekend so you're not into going out on the weekend oh, okay uh, it, it, yes uh, in no not a weekend but uh, yes in in some uh, in a specific uh, date yes mm -hmm. For sure, uh, we we visit uh, a, a park or we we go to the beach. Okay, but, but you no, still go with your family. Yes, with only mm. with my family. Yes, I prefer stay in my house. And you you, you know uh, when you are when when I when a, a people is married uh, the. <laughs> the the obligations <laughs> are are bigger than than you you are uh, a single, single. <laughs> i don't know my friend about that <laughs> yes, yes, yes. okay yes, no. but okay. when you were married when, when you were married <laughs> you, you you tell me <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, but, but it's really nice, you know, that, that you put like your family as a priority and you, you do a lot of activities with them. So sounds all right. Yeah. Hi, Wendy. How are you doing? Good evening. Hey, good evening. Uh, only, only clear. Uh, going out, only party, beer, um, mm, no, alcoholic. No, Mm, no, no, no. This is only no. the example, right? This is the first picture uh, that I got. <laughs> but when go, you say go I go. Going out, other. I mean, go uh, out is eat, to spend time with eat, your friend. Coffee, yes. Drink coffee. Ah, I mean, to spend case, time with going friends. Out. <laughs> going out going is out for you. My friend. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. It's boring. It's boring house in, in <laughs> May. Of offices of home uh -huh. homework. I am homework. House home. housework. <laughs> housework. Uh -huh. yes, no, that, that will be housework or chores. So no. if it is tareas de la casa, we can call them chores, right? So we I, do some I chores. like I like what? Chores. Uh, chores. in the chat you can I find I like it. chores. Mm -hmm. Chores. Home. Okay. But but uh, enjoy. Uh, in my case, not enjoy in house, only work in house, <laughs> and enjoy okay. going going out. Ah, oh, I mean yes, definitely sounds like pretty nice. So yeah, going out. This is the example that I found. Uh, that was the the closest. Hi, Mario. Okay, okay, that's all right. But it, but it doesn't mean that going out is just going out drinking right now. I mean, no. it can be go to the movies or you oh, can go yeah. out and spend time with some friends, you know, go to, um, I don't know, have, go to a diner or a restaurant. Uh -huh. So it's just going okay. out. Mm -hmm. Okay, da that diner, would be the one. lunch, or drink a coffee, or go out, or... Visit, visit my friend. Mm, okay, so you're more into that. All right, sounds really nice. Really, really good. Okay, guys, uh, I just wanna uh, share this other word with you. 
uh, to make sure that we get that right. Um, probably you have heard this word uh, and we have this other word. I don't know if you are familiar with both. Uh, I shared them in the chat. Are you familiar with both words? Are the ones in the one chat? Word. Just with, with dinner, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sometimes we can call it... Um, what, what is so, the question, teacher? Sorry? In the chat, yeah, the in the chat. Money. In the chat, I shared uh, two words that are super similar. And I just was asking if you are familiar with both words. The first one is about money. No. 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 Okay, so let me just explain this one. Um, so the first one is pronounced diner and the second is pronounced dinner. But the difference mm -hmm. is that dine, uh, dinner is what we eat, right? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And diner is the plate. So um, I don't know, you have seen in movies, people go to um, like a little restaurant. It is not super fancy. It is cheap. You can go for a hamburger, for a soda. Um, so we call them diners, right? Like los merenderos or los comedores in El Salvador. <laughs> so they are like very Latinos, right? So diner, the first is the plate. And the second dinner is the food. Um, yes, you know, too, uh, for you to know in case that is something new. I don't know if you were familiar with the word diner. So next time you look at, uh, at movies, also check out the, the poster that is in the small restaurant. Normally they say diners. All right, um, okay guys, so we're going to be checking today a little bit of um, vocabulary. We are going to be checking some crisis. Chores, yes, exactly, Guadalupe. Chores is cleaning the house, washing machine, yes. So normally chores is the, the short word, but we call it household chores. So the full word is household chores or chores, right? That is the one. Okay, guys. Um, so I got this uh, vocabulary uh, so we can get started talking today about dealing with crisis. And uh, I have... Um, see different categories. It says, number the following key actions to consider when dealing with a crisis in order to be in order uh, of importance. Number one is the most important. Number five is the least important. And there we go, discuss your choices with a partner. Um, guys, we have be accountable for your actions, assume responsibility. So, I don't know if you have heard the word be accountable. So that is assume responsibility. Don't forget about social media. Uh, control the flow and accuracy of information. Have legal advice and communication experts at hand. Uh, be honest, never lie in times of crisis. Communicate with customers and suppliers. So imagine that my company is in a really big problem. Imagine that Inglés Corporativo is into a big problem because of, I don't know, because of copyrights, because the teacher Julia said something um, bad to the participants and they got upset because of the attitude. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, um, and then we get into a legal battle. So what do you think here, uh, my company in this case, uh, or your company, if that is the one that has been affected, what is the most important, guys, uh, the most important thing in order to reduce the consequences of actions? Do you think that it is better to go into Facebook and say, oh, you know, um, English corporativo doesn't know who teacher who lesser senior is. <laughs> um, is, that a, is that a good idea, you know, like to go to social media or assume responsibility? Do you think that they have to say, you know, uh, we assume all responsibilities because of the event that happened? 
we have have legal advice and communications or do you think that number one thing or, or step one is to call the lawyer to call all the advisors and ask what they should do or what would be for you uh, what is what do you think is the thing or a step number one when there is a big problem so what um i don't have nobody no i don't have anybody from human resources or the uh, communications here so okay so we are going to do these guys in groups right um i want you to decide from number one up to number five um well, no, we're gonna do it here. Let's do it here. So from one to number five, what is the most important and what is something that is not really important at the moment of having a big, big situation there, right? So, okay, uh, guys, I'll give you five minutes so you can think about the reasons why uh, you have ranked them that way. So five minutes, guys. Hi, Claudia. Good evening. Thanks for joining. I think, no, that's only Claudia. Mr. B, yeah. Okay, Mr. Bai. Hi, guys. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Right now. Working? No, Mr. Bai is working. Okay. Sorry, teacher, I lost the, the connection, but which is the most important, number one or five? Mm -hmm. No, number one is the most important, or like step number one, and number five is the least the important. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. the least, the one that is not so important. Okay, thank you. No worries, no problem. I think actually in some places it may be raining. Guys, is it raining in your houses? No. No, teacher. It's hot in San Salvador. In this, in this really? moment, no. But in yesterday, yes. Uh, okay, yeah, because he, here in my house it was raining in the afternoon, so I thought yeah. my internet was gonna be bad. No. Sorry, yeah, in the afternoon. Is, <laughs> yeah. In some places, it was, was raining, teacher. The connection is not good today. Oh, uh, Jorge, if it works, you can turn off your camera um, so the internet connection gets better or a little more stable. Turn it off. Sometimes it works. Okay, thank you. But, but can you listen to us? Yes, I can listen. Okay, we'll but, listen to you but, nicely. But I see the connection is unstable. Unstable. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mr. Palma, you were saying? Yes, teacher. Uh, in the afternoon, in many, many places, was was raining. But At, uh, about the 3, 3 p.m. In Quesaltepeque, it was raining. Yes, it was raining. Uh, but wasn't it uh, supposed to be like a hurricane or a big storm these days? No, right? No, teacher, no, yeah. right? 
Okay, so maybe I just so normally, normally for, the, for this month. But in November, it doesn't rain much. I don't remember, guys. The weather is yeah, really okay. crazy these days. Yes. Even even uh, the starting in December, it is probable uh, it's raining. Ah, that's right. Yes. December <laughs> is kind of humid. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, guys. So this is just like the steps, the most important steps when dealing with crisis. So number one is the most important. Number five is the least important. six there are six but just stay five that's all right I finished teacher, but I consider there are many possibilities to fail. Uh, Jorge? I think I'm missing you. Uh, I think you're cutting. You're cutting a little bit. Um, okay, guys. So, what do you have as number one? What would what a uh, step or what key action do you think is important in order to make like a problem in order to avoid making a problem bigger? So, what do you have as number one? Like number one, I have have legal advice and communicator communication experts at hand. Okay. Okay. Nice. Guys, what about the rest of you? What do you have as number one? What is the most important thing? For me, a most important, the most important is a be, be honest, never lie in time of crisis. Okay, so be honest and never lie. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. Consider, considering the, 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 the issues, or to avoid mm -hmm. the issues uh, become a big, a big issue. Uh, 
I consider the number one uh, be accountable for your actions. Be accountable. Assume, yes, be accountable for your actions. Responsibility. Assume responsibility. Oh, interesting. Okay. So everybody has different ones here. Guys, what would be the least important? Number five, what do you have as the least important? The least for me is don't forget about social media. Uh, okay. uh, social media. Silvia, yes, Silvia, tell us you are the expert in this matter. I agree. <laughs> really? Social media? Don't forget about social media? Yes. Okay, guys, what do you have as number uh, as number five? The least important. Number six, teacher. What would be number six? Don't social, media. social media and you know i think that social media is really important these days because if you make a mistake it goes viral so and everybody knows about it right so it's but, really really bad but i consider the the scenario in this case is uh, the problem was so big so i consider her legal advice it's, it's pretty important. Uh, okay, okay. Amazing. So, okay, let's go ahead with Silvia. Silvia, you are the good one here. <laughs> so this is your area of expertise. Um, what do you have as number one? And why do you think it is the most important? Silvia, do you work for a city hall or do you work for a company? As for me, it's, it is how legal advice and communication experts. Uh, I work for a company. Financial you work company. for a company. Ah, okay. What do you have as number two? Yes. Um, to be, uh, be honest, never lie in time of crisis. Really? Never? Okay. Okay, yes. I don't know why I had the idea. <laughs> well, parece broma, you know, but I had the idea that lawyers were liars. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you had heard that. So, no, it's cierto, it's not true. Uh, no, the, um, is is more, uh, is better. Uh -huh. Because I, because if uh, they, uh, they, com, ¿cómo sería? Si ellos cometen un delito, debo ser honesta de las consecuencias, por ejemplo. Ah, but you and your client. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, okay. What about like to the public? Um. Is 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 similar. Okay, yes. it's similar. Okay, guys, pregunte. Me estoy cortando. Am I breaking? Sometimes. A little me parece que I don't have internet. So, qué raro, weird. Okay, me avisan, please. That let, let, that happened to me. I saw in the, in, in some uh, moments uh, the screen freeze. I mean, los estoy escuchando de hecho como con interferencia. But guys, si no me escuchan, uh, let me know. O si me empiezo a quebrar, let me know, because no sé qué le pasa a my intern. Puede ser el mismo problema que mencionaba eh, George, right? Like we're having issues uh, with the internet. Okay, so Sylvia says that first, uh, have legal advice, then never lie, okay, be honest. Okay, and the, the last one, so Sylvia, in your case, in your professional, um, you know, uh, experience, the last would be don't forget about social media or what would be the, the least important?
Sylvia. <laughs> I think I lost Sylvia too. Okay. Okay, guys, so most of you said that uh, you have us number five or number six. Don't forget about social media, right? That would be the one. Okay, all right, guys, let's talk a little bit about crisis. But uh, antes de, de hablar realmente about crisis, um, I have a couple of listening exercises. So, guys, this is the first listening exercise I'll give over to you. Uh, if you take a look, Ya está el paragraph. We already have the paragraph. Vamos a hablar un poquito de emergencias and all those things. Está bien cortito. Es un minuto. It is one minute listening exercise. What I want you to do, guys, is easy. I want you to listen carefully, right? And I want you to, um, I want you to tell me what is the missing word. Un minuto. Give me just a moment. Let me look for the word. I don't find it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Okay, guys. So, um, order number one. Eh, se los voy a compartir aquí en el chat. I'm going to share this in the chat. It is called emergencies. It is a one minute MP3, right? And guys, I'm going to give you some minutes uh, so you can listen carefully. Y nos puedan decir cuál es la palabra que hace falta. What is the missing word? Um, so we can get started with listening. ¿Me confirma si todos lo escuchan? Please let me know if you can hear that. In this moment, no. I, I don't uh, I am, nothing. I am, yes, I am unable to play it here. But se los comparto en el chat. I'm sharing this in the chat. And let me know, guys, eh, si lo logran reproducir. Let me know if you can play it. Teacher, uh, sorry, in my computing, no. Uh, I can't send in the WhatsApp. Mm, that's a really yes, good yes, idea. Teacher, in, in, my, in Zoom. I, 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 I don't see, I don't see. Uh, I can hear the, the, the audio. It's, it's not working. Yes, I, I can hear you. Oh, you it's can, okay. Yes. Okay, give, give me one moment, guys. Uh, let me just look for the that one and let me play it here. So. Yeah, because unfortunately I cannot play it for you. That's so bad. Uh, but just los comparto. Give me a moment. Let me just locate it. This is the one. Okay, so emergencies. Okay, I share it in the chat in WhatsApp, but I'm not sure, guys, if lo van a poder reproducir. I'm not sure if you can play it. Let me know. Cinco minutos del Espíritu Santo, 22 de noviembre. El Espíritu Santo es el artista. Oops, somebody scared me. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, guys, can you give me confirmation? Um, did everybody yes. play it? Were you able yes, to play, play it? Play, teacher. Uh, okay, perfect, perfect. Sounds good. Guys, what about the rest? Were you able to play it as well? Okay, I'm going to take that as a yes. All right, guys, I'll give you like four or five minutes so you can complete it. Let me know. Um, okay, weird. Eh, Susana, not even the one that is in the in WhatsApp. Not sure. <laughs> Mi tamagotchi no lo puede. <laughs> Maybe no me lo okay. funciona mi tamagotchi. <laughs> In my case, I can listen. Okay, guys, let's let's do the following then. Um, let me think. Let me think. I'm trying to think about a plan B, but the thing is that I cannot play it here. Um, because you know. <laughs> I am unable to. Okay, um, let me see if I can do that. Okay, let me see if I can find another way to play it. Oh, okay, Susana, so just let me confirm. Si pudo, were you able to? Okay, good, good, good.
Uh, guys, ¿cómo vamos? How you doing there? Ready, teacher. Thank you, Jorge. We are just going to wait some minutes because eh, creo que algunos me hacen falta todavía. Okay. But nice, nice. Really good. Guys, two more minutes.
Okay, guys, are you ready or do you need more time? Is everybody ready? Do you have the words? I think I'm ready. Okay, okay, nice. So let's go ahead and check it out, right? Um, so guys, number one says, are you a good person to have? And then emergency, what do you have in the first? To have around. What, yeah, are you a good person to have around in an emergency? That is right. I am, I think. I have a very, what do you have over there? I have a very. Cool. I have a very cool head, exactly like head, right? Um, I don't panic easily. The most important thing, what do you mm -hmm. have over there? to do in an emergency is stay calm. If you do this, you can think straight and decide what the best to do. Best to do. Also, if you stay calm, other people might stay calm too. The worst thing to do. The worst to do, uh -huh. the worst to do is panic. Once you panic, things become worse. Of course, it depends kind. On, kind the kind, on the kind of emergency. For really serious emergencies, you should call the emergency services. That's 999 in the UK or 911. Other parts. In the other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. In other parts of the world. My biggest emergency recently. What a big one. What's the real one? Exactly. I press the delete. Delete button. Mm -hmm. I press the delete button and lost my 3,000 songs in iTunes. Luckily, I, I have a backup. I had a backup. I had a backup. Exactly. I had a backup. Very nice. Okay. Teacher. Uh, yes. Uh, do you write the answers in? Uh, yeah. The answers for this one. Yeah. I can write them in the chat, but the thing is that most Thank of them you. are ex expressions. So um, it's not just a word. So, for example, in number one is number one is around an emergency. So, number two is a cool head. Uh, number three, what is number three? Wait, I don't to see that. So, oh, to do, that will be to do? Yes, to do. So the next one is decide what to do, something to do. Right. So right. most of them are very similar. The words to do, so the other one is to do as well. It depends, uh, then you have the next one on the kind. So on the kind of emergency. Uh, next one is in other parts of the world. Um, then you have recently was a big one. So number eight was a big one, a big one. And the last one is delete bot. And that's it. So those are the ones. Okay, guys, Um. so I, I think it was not that difficult, was it? Was it a little hard? Was it a little difficult for you? A little difficult. For me, teacher. yes, teacher. Okay, it was a little bit, probably because of the accent, right? That the accent was pretty strong. Okay, but we got to hear a uh, couple of the recommendations. The is, is uh, if listen and see same in, in cell phone is impossible. Oh, that's a really good point. Exactly, because yeah. you were like listening and then uh, checking yeah. it out. Oh, but it is not, uh, yeah, you're right. Um, I, yeah. I'm not sure if you can split your cell phone into screens, that will work. 
or in the computer, mm, yeah. right? That would be a little in, easier. In that's the right. computer, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, but we got it, guys. So nice job with that. All right, very, very good. Um, now I got the next exercise that is also related to listening as well. But if you take a look, we have some vocabulary here. So we have some expressions like go off, I, a choking, all over, uh, and didn't help. So what we got to do with this one is to complete these sentences using the expressions we have on top. Most of them are emergencies too. They are crisis, big events, etc. So guys, let's complete this exercise together, right? Number one says, for example, this area was destroyed as much because the, and we are missing one of the words uh, from the box. We are going to uh, be using that to complete number one. What can we use in number one, guys? This area was destroyed as, as much because the eye, of the, the eye of the hurricane passed over this part. Very good. So that would be the eye of the hurricane. Number two, that extravagant wedding was news for the weeks. What do you think we can use in number two? Shocking. Shocking news. Mm, any other possibility? All over the news. All over the news, exactly. So the extravagant wedding was all over the news. Mm -hmm. So we use expression all over. I'm gonna write in there. So we have all over the news, right? We have in number one, uh, the eye, the eye of the hurricane. So that is the full expression. Number three, I had a terrible day at work today and need that I had car trouble on the way home. So what can we use in number three? Choking or didn't help? We only have two possibilities. Didn't help, didn't help. Mm -hmm. And it didn't help, okay. So, and it didn't help. All right. So I had a terrible day at work today and it didn't help, like, oh, it made it bigger uh, that I had a car, a car trouble on the way home. Number four, his alarm usually goes for, off. Exactly, goes off. So how do you say, ah, mi alarma suena? We don't use sound, we don't use any other word, but goes off. So that is for the alarm, right? His alarm usually goes off for five minutes before he wakes up. So that is like sonar when we're talking about alarmas. Number five, some types of alcohol are so strong, you feel like you are when you drink it. Only one word. <laughs> we are missing only one here. So that is choking, exactly. Difficult, the, the, the oh wait, choking, okay, there we go. So what is choking? When you drink like, guys, have you ever feel like choking with your saliva? <laughs> or you drink water and you're like, <laughs> so that's choking. So you get like super crazy with that. So take a look at these expressions, guys. We have um, choking, right? When something gets into your throat, saliva, water, coffee, whatever, goes off for alarms. It is very common that we use it for alarm. Didn't help, like algo que lo hizo peor, something that uh, made it really bad, right? Made it worse, a situation that um, didn't help. Um, then we have all over. So what are the most common expressions with all over? Uh, all over the news, like in todas las noticias, right? Or for a person, cuando alguien no haya que hacer, you know, and aquí, and allá, y no se encuentra un lugar para esta persona, we can say, oh, that person was all over the place. No sé si la han escuchado that expression, it's very common. Oh, she was all over the place. Like, uh, no tiene control de sí misma, right? Doesn't control himself or herself. So, 
um, or during the presentation, the person was all over the place. Um, that you have a presentation, pero no sabe ni dónde está, you know, and you're like, oh my God, what's going on? So that is all over the place, que está, you know, um, super desorganizado, like super lost, pretty much that is the point, right? Super lost if we are talking about a person or all over the news, que todo está saturado. Something is saturated with these kind of things. Uh, and the eye of the hurricane, uh, if you remember a hurricane, Tiene como un espacio adentro, como un ojito, right? Como un centro. So we call it eye of the hurricane. Um, but guys, we are going to check just this vocabulary quick. Can you please, is are these words new for you or not much? Yes. Are these words kind of new? Okay. Okay, guys, so let's do the following. So if the words are new, um, so let's go ahead and let's write examples that you remember how to use the word. For example, choking. Okay, I can say, oh, choking, le estamos agregando ing, but the original verb is choke, right? Chalk or choking. So I can say, I don't know, yesterday I was drinking a Coca-Cola and, and suddenly I started choking with my own, <clears throat> I, because I had a cough, so I started choking with the Coca-Cola. <laughs> so we can use uh, these words. Uh, please select the words that are new and let's write a sentence, please, guys. Escri Hagamos vocabulario. Let's write one sentence for every new word, please. I'll give you five. I'll give you five minutes. Guys, I'm sorry you're sick. Lamento que algunos están super enfermos. Eh, si es COVID, guys, la mejor de las, de las suertes, the best of the vibes. Espero que se mejoren super pronto. Ariel, I'm sorry to hear that's COVID. Guadalupe, no sé si está enferma. Diana, too. I'm sorry, girls. Y espero que se mejoren. Hopefully. Eh, no voy a ver mayores síntomas. And guys, a, al parecer hay como otra, eh, otra cepa, right? There is another kind of um, bacteria or virus going around. So guys, be super careful y siempre cuídense. You're out. Take care of yourself. So guys, I'll give you some minutes uh, so we can write some sentences and uh, just new vocabulary, right? Just the new expressions, please. Oh, okay. Minsal is giving the kit. Oh my God, the same kit again? Wow. But I guess it, it's viral again. I guess it's like terrible again. Yes, uh, there are many cases in the in the office there in San Salvador. Wow, okay. Yeah, guys, be careful. I mean, we know that is a um there is a, a sort of flu, but we don't want to, you know. And bring the virus to our family, right? So yes, be super careful if you're out. Let's put in the phone. Oh, Ivermectina. Okay, yes, Pirina. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. There are increase of the case of- Of cases? Yes. That's so bad. I take, I took Ivermectin when I had COVID. You took, I didn't take it. I received the kit, uh, but to be honest, um, 
I don't like taking pills. I rely more on like um, natural medicine. So I have a lot of tea, you know, a lot of lemon, ginger, chamomile, and a lot of different kind of teas. So, but yeah, that's so bad. Yes, but I had COVID in September 20, 20, 2020. No, oh, okay. And I don't have any vaccine. Ah, ah, that's another thing. Now we got vaccines too. Okay. No, I had COVID this year. I had it in January. But but I got the first the first kind. I don't remember what was it what it was called, but wait. Uh, but uh, at that at that moment the ivermectina it was recommended by the by the Ministry of Health. Yes. Uh, a variation, it's called or a mutation. Okay, a variation. So, no, but I had the first. There are a lot of guys, but, anyways. So, hope, uh, hopefully, this is not going to be like that bad. Hi, for me, it's the first time I got COVID. How are you feeling? Ah, uh, horrible. <laughs> but you got all the symptoms, like all the checklist? Um, I think so. Tengo nariz tapada, tengo tos, dolor corporal, de cabeza, un poco oh. como de fiebre. Mm, probably. Y no he perdido el olfato todavía. No, o sea, quizás sí porque estoy tapada, ¿verdad? Pero, ajá, no, no, no tengo como ánimo de, de comer. De hacer nada, like to wait. Ah, ajá, stand ahí. up, ok. Yeah, well, hopefully no, no vaya a ponerse complicada ni nada, you know, but, yeah, es una gripe súper fuerte. Sí, así es. But, eh, y, ¿y su familia también? ¿Are they sick? Uh, mi mamá sí. Estamos dos enfermas y tres han sobrevivido. <laughs> ah, ok. Ya de, de las van a I, isolate. <laughs> sí. Aquí está. <laughs> Literal. Oh. Encerradas, you know, and everything. Sí, ni modo, sí. you know. Es parte de, del cuido, Ray, right? para evitar que se pongan mal sí, todos. Sí, es un medio. No, but, but hopefully... Um, Ya se recupera, mis. Solamente son, creo que cinco días, right? Eh, sí, creo que sí. I think it's only five days now. Okay. Yeah, que se recupere. So gracias, hopefully gracias. you'll get better super soon. <coughs> Sorry, I'm in mute. Guys, do you have some examples already? Are you ready? 
Do you need more time? Yes, I have one. Uh, okay, perfect. Tell us, Claudia. The eye of the hurricane will be here tomorrow morning. Okay, okay. That sounds really nice. That's a good sentence. The, uh -huh, that's a really good sentence, actually. Uh, guys, do you have more examples for us? You hear me? Yes. Hey, Mr. Rivas, how you doing? Nice. <laughs> Tell us. The, the air conditioner goes off at five o'clock. Oh, okay. So the air conditioning goes off at five o'clock. All right. Nice. Mr. Rivas, you're not working today? Uh, more or less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Less than more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now it is really nice to have you. Really cool. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the air conditioning goes off. All right. Sounds good. The alarm clock goes off. Okay. Um, guys, do you have more examples for us? Teacher, uh, the the second one, the single. All over. Uh, yes, the single presentation was so scandalous. Mm -hmm. It was all over the place. Oh, okay. It was all over the place. All right. Very nice. Exactly. You will hear this when you're describing people uh, all over the place, right? Or all over the news. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice. Guys, any other example? Sylvia, Susan, uh, Wendy. Hi, Norma. <laughs> Do you have any other example for us? Teacher, the, the word choking, what does that mean? It's like... <laughs> And you get like, uh, like cool. when you eat a big chunk of something, like a big chunk of food, and then you're like, <laughs> so you're talking, right? So you get it in your throat. No, not vomiting. No, por pol. <laughs> and you get por pol. Uh, so it's a so you but but the thing is that not necessarily with food because lo podemos hacer con saliva guys i don't know if it has happened to you with your own saliva you're choking right we cannot breathe so that is chalk mm -hmm. but there is another word obstrucción that's obstrucción de la vía aérea so it, that's choking pretty much. So you start doing it. That's why it says some types of alcohol are so strong. You feel like you're choking when you drink it. So um, you probably drink a little bit of alcohol and you're like, <laughs> yeah. So uh, you're choking, right? In your, in your own liquid. Mm -hmm. More examples, guys? No more? Teacher, I, I, I have another, another. Uh, sentence okay with, yes with the first one okay and i think the eye of the tiger is the name of an old song okay. that's a nice one it was the eye of the hurricane but now <laughs> the eye of the tiger <laughs> okay that reminds me of rocky balboa Okay, nice, nice. Why do we have this? Because guys, the next listening exercise that we're gonna check today se relaciona con todo este vocabulario. Didn't help, all over, uh, choking, the eye of the hurricane, it goes off, right? So um, I have just one more listening exercise, guys. Eh, se los voy a compartir acá. I'm gonna share it here, uh, esperando que podamos escucharlo. Veamos si nos funciona, you know, or we can get something else. Okay. Es un poquito más largo. It's not just 59 seconds. It's a little bit longer, right? Eh, se los acabo de compartir acá, guys. Let me know si pueden tener acceso. If you can hear that, you can uh, get access to it. So this one is about uh, natural disasters. And uh, there are some people 
varias personas dan su opinión. They are talking about some experiences they have had. Um, so what are we going to do, guys? Um, we have Tom, we have Jess, you have a hurricane, and you have like more people. You have landslides, and you have, what else do you have? Yeah, pretty much fire as well. So I want you to listen to this, right? And take notes. So the first person is Tom. So que es lo que cuenta Tom, right? So Tom is talking about a typhoon. What does he say? Then we have Jess. Jess is talking about a bomb. So what does Jess say? We have George. George is the next person. Then we have the next girl from uh, Jamaica. Person. And we have Mike <laughs> from Singapore. All right, so listen guys, listen, take notes, and then I have some questions for you. I'll give you five minutes so you can get as many details as you can, as much information as you can, and then we check, all right? So five minutes, guys. Me confirman si pueden escuchar el audio. Can you let me know? Yes, Solo okay. listen y tomen notas, just take notes, right? Listen and take notes. Teacher, ¿dónde está el, el audio, el video? Mm, the audio is here in the chat. Um, can you give me confirmation? It is called disasters. MXR disaster. Let me share it again. Me confirma si lo logran escuchar. Let me know if you can hear that. A mí no me parece, solo los nombres. Ahorita. No, teacher, solo veo que dice yes. Tom, Jess, George, Sir Nice, Mike. Dele un Pero momentito. Ya le va a aparecer. Revise again. Yes, teacher, no. Eh, It's not all, here. All do you, all you share in Zoom, in my case, I, I don't see nothing. Are you serious? Yeah. Claro, weird. There's no, no. Oh, okay. Deme un segundo. It's okay. So give me a moment. Uh, only only in WhatsApp. you share in WhatsApp, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share that in WhatsApp too. So give me one moment. Okay. So, super weird, right? But, ahorita, guys, let me share that, no worries. Okay, there you go. So, hopefully it works. Si no les funciona tampoco, let me know and le tomo captura. I'm going to take a, I'm going to do that just in case. In WhatsApp, yes, teacher, right now. It's, uh, I could play.
Uh, sorry guys for the interruption. Eh, Todos lo lograron poner. Everybody could play that one. Yes, teacher. In my case, yes. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let me know, please, si alguien no pudo.
¿Cómo vamos, guys? How you doing there? Do you need more time? We finished the chat. Okay, okay. Guys, I'll give you two more minutes and then we start checking. Hey guys, it is about time. So let's take a look. Um, let's check super quick what you understood from each of the of the um, conversations, dialogues, you know, for these people. So uh, the first person in the conversation was um, that was Tom, right? Um, okay. Born in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm, exactly. So he was not a phone in Hong Kong. And what happened to him? There was like the, a very interesting experience. Suddenly, the the street uh, was flooding. He was in a mm -hmm. telephone box. Exactly. So it was flooded. So he went to the he hid right. So he hid he in the telephone or box it, or save it. You can say save it or not. Shave it. Save it. Save or, it. Uh, I understand he, uh, he, he avoided the, the telephone in a telephone box. Ah, yes. So say, say como de guardarse, resguardarse, something like that? Yes. Ah, got it. Well. We can use he, right? That is esconderse, so hide, hid. He kind of hid there. Or you can say he looked for shelter. So shelter is como busco co cobijo, right? Or in this case, the telephone box. Uh -huh. So he looked for shelter. Uh, guys, Jess, what happened to Jess? Jess says natural disaster. Yes, 
So no. what happened to yes? Uh, yes, uh, I, I, I think yes, yes, uh, uh, she never has been in a natural disaster, but mm -hmm. uh, he remember uh, when a bomb exploded in Manchester when uh, she, she was uh, 16 years old. Mm -hmm. oh, very nice. Wow. You got a lot of details. Exactly. So she was 16 years old and that was very scary. Okay. Really mm -hmm. nice. Guys, what about George? So George from um, Hawaii. What do you remember from this guy? He was in a hurricane in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. In the in actually in the eye of the hurricane. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes, nice. Um, it was a bad experience for, for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, it was a bad experience, but there is something really interesting. So in algún momento él dice, um, it was not that harsh. So no estuvo tan feo como él pensó que iba a estar, right? It was not that harsh. Okay. Uh, next one is the girl from Jamaica. Girl, guys, what do you have about this girl? She was in fire, really big one, she said. And uh -huh. he, he was very, very scary. She thinks she was dying, but uh, she was rescued. Oh, nice. Okay. She, she also, she said uh, she doesn't see anything. Uh, for the smoke. Ah, okay. For the smoke, it was in a everywhere. Okay. She, nice. She, I don't know. She think he he was die. He he were die. Oh, okay. No, I mean, really, really nice. That sounds interesting. <laughs> okay. Okay, really good. She thought that she was gonna die. That is for sure. Uh, give me one sec. No sé qué hice here. Um, okay, I don't know what I did. Okay, uh, and the last one, guys. Uh, so the last person, uh, I think that's the last. So we have Mike. What about, oh, no, we have two more. So Mike, what about Mike, guys? What happened to him? Guys, si solamente escucho los two boys here. <laughs> Any girl who wants to tell us something about Mike? Fairly is difficult for me. I don't listen in Spanish. Imagine in English. <laughs> no, why, no, I mean, but poco a poco, little by little, mm -hmm. you'll get more. So, in so Spanish, I, practice. I don't listen well. You don't imagine listen well in, in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Imagine uh, in guys, it, okay. Uh, what about Mike? So, what is the problem with Mike, guys? A hurricane? Earthquake, tremor, alguien entendió de qué se trataba? Did you get it? I, uh, rainy, I, rainy understand, I understand in, in December 2004, uh, he was in LA and he, uh, he saw a big landslide. Yes, exactly. That was a landslide, right? Uh, yes, it was in Los Angeles. Very nice. And it says yeah, it was all over the news. A high rainy season. In, exactly. in the ocean, in the Pacific Ocean. The nope. Pacific Ocean. No, it says here that it was, uh, it was I right think it's called right. the Pacific Ocean yeah. Highway. Mm -hmm. oh, well, That's yes. right. That is the one. Okay, guys. And the last one. Uh, this guy is from the UK. Um, any idea what he's saying? Claudia, Norma, would you like to share it if you got anything? Uh, let's comparto la palabra. I don't know if you got the word. So it's a blizzard. They are talking about a blizzard. No sé si de lo que escucharon lograron comprender que es un blizzard. No, teacher. No. Uh, I didn't understand the last kind, part. Kind of camping, something like that. 
Uh, okay, yes, yes. Uh, it says that they were camping, but this is Norway. No, he was a like, blizzard. No. Exactly, blizzard se le llama a las tormentas de nieve, right? Cuando yes. cae demasiado y todo se llena de nieve. So, uh -huh, that's a blizzard. En nuestro, en nuestro, como en nuestro país, right? <laughs> like in our country. <laughs> No, guys, pero a I mí mean, creo que por algo es que no tenemos nieve. Se imaginan si tuviéramos nieve, like el pesor de las casas, de los techos and everything. That would be bad. So por algo, you know, there is a reason for everything. Yeah. So, okay, guys, uh, sintieron un poquito más fáciles los listenings. Uh, or still, no, se están un poquito de dificultades. Are you having some issues with them? Are you still struggling? I didn't understand in the 100%, no, uh, but mm -hmm. uh, a little bit I understand. Oh, okay, that is what matters. If you get a little bit, la idea, guys, is que nuestro oído vaya mejorando, right? So it's mm -hmm. improving uh, day by day. All right, guys, so thank you so much. Uh, unfortunately, our time is going. Thank you so much for joining. Really nice to have you guys. Espero que nadie más enferme. And if you get sick, pues, you know, um, get something to drink, get some medicine, and, and esperemos que no uh, suceda nada grave, right? Hopefully it will not. All right, guys. So thanks, everybody. Nos vemos el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you uh, tomorrow, right? And have an amazing night, guys. So see you, see you. See you. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. 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 Six. I don't find Bye, teacher. Oh, my God, your voice. <laughs> Bye, Miss. Que se mejore. Have Thank a good you. night. Good night. Thirteen.